Have you ever been going through a time where you felt like things were just completely out of sorts? Discombobulated might be the word that comes to my mind. It's when things are going wrong and trouble is all around. You can't seem to see the whole picture. Can't understand why things aren't working out the way that you know that they should in your nation, in your personal life, in your finances, in your work, in your family relationships. I think the prophet Amos would have understood exactly what you're feeling in those moments. In chapter 8, beginning with verse 8, the word says, Will not the land tremble for this, and all who live in it mourn? The whole land will rise like the Nile. It will be stirred up and then sink like the river of Egypt. In that day, declares the Lord, I will make the sun go down at noon and darken the earth in broad daylight. I will turn your religious feasts into mourning and your singing into weeping. I will make all of you wear sackcloth, and I will make that time like mourning for an only son, and the end of it will be like a bitter day. A huge part of the Bible is helping people lament when things have gone wrong because of their own choices, because of the choices of others that we didn't even participate in. And so I love the way that this passage, uh, this word about um, the end of it, like a bitter day, or this part about uh, mourning for an only son. I, I love the way that that correlates with the darkness of noon that the gospel writers record when Jesus bore our sins upon the cross. And certainly there were those with Jesus, Mary, who was standing at the foot of the cross. And even though God had warned her, even though the prophet had spoken about the death of Jesus on in his eighth day, she didn't understand. It didn't make sense. Her heart was wounded because we can't see the whole story when we're standing in it. But here's the thing. God makes a way through his word, literally through his word. Psalms 119, 105 says, Your word is a lamp for my feet and a light for my path. I've been reading through the conversations from the cross over and over, looking and thinking and just digging deep into those conversations to think about what it is that Jesus was going through and how much he loves us. But one of the things that stands out for me is that those people at the cross were deeply affected by the excruciating pain for Mary to be watching her son executed unfairly, for Jesus as people wagged their fingers at him and mocked him and told him, why don't you come down here when his being there was saving them. Surely some of those after the resurrection realized what had happened and they were cut to the quick. But in those moments, Jesus prays his way through the situation. One of the lines that he spoke from the cross, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Ever felt that way? I'm gonna talk about that more on Sunday. I encourage you to invite your friends if they're going through a whole time hard time to watch the sermon online or come to church to watch it. But just, I, I want to encourage you. In Psalms 119, uh, we see that the word is a lamp to our feet. Jesus prayed his way through the cross. That quote from the Gospel of Mark is also taken from Psalm 22, which is a prayer of lament, of grief, of God, this is so hard to go through. If you're going through a difficult time right now, I just want you to know that I'm praying for you, my church. I'm praying for us as a society. I'm praying that God will help us through, even as we don't always see the big picture, but also that we will pray ourselves through as Jesus did that day on the cross. The word is the way through. I'm Pastor Tim. It's been a pleasure being with you this morning. I pray that God helps you find a way through today. God bless you.